Hello, all you wonderful creative people, and welcome to another Blender Quick Tip. One way to add a lot of visual interest to your scene is by adding a little bit of randomness. And one way to do that is to add some random color and tone. As you can see, I've got six buildings here. All of them have the exact same colors. And we're going to randomize things just a little bit. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to split the screen in two. Make this top screen over here the shader view. And as you can see, there are four different shaders on these buildings. One for the walls and the floor, one for the trim, one for the windows, and one for the door. So we're just going to go to the walls and the floor. Press Shift A, go to Input, scroll down till you get to Object Info. And here you can see we've got Random, and we're going to plug Random directly into the color. And look at that, we've already got some random shades, because Random will give us a value from 1 to 0, or black to white. But if you want to get some color in there, all you have to do is press Shift A, go to Color, Mix RGB, and just add that in. We'll go to the top here and change it to either overlay or multiply. I prefer multiply. And then we'll just change the color here to whatever color you want. And we'll just increase the factor to 100%. So now we've got random shades of red or random shades of turquoise or blue or whatever color you want. But now let's say you wanted random colors. Well, that's pretty simple as well. We press shift A, go to color, add in hue and saturation. We'll plug the color from the hue and saturation directly into the base color, and we'll plug the random amount into the hue. But it seems to have done nothing. That's because there's no color information. We need to go to the color at the bottom here and increase the saturation. And now we've got random colors. We can increase and decrease saturation. We can also press Shift A, add in a brightness and contrast, and we can increase the contrast or increase the brightness or decrease the brightness as much as we like. But what we can also do is we can randomize the colors just a little bit more. We can press Shift A, go down to Convert, go to Math, and we'll add in a Math node in between the Object Info node and the Hue and Saturation node. This will allow us to change the value and cycle through the different colors. You can easily apply this randomness to your other shaders by holding down Shift and selecting these three nodes, pressing Ctrl C, going to one of your other shaders, pressing Ctrl V, and just connecting it to your color. Then you can just randomize the colors just a little bit to make them different. Go to the next one, Ctrl V, connect the color, randomize this one a little bit. Go to the doors, Ctrl V, connect the color, and randomize a little bit. The really awesome and powerful thing about this is it works with particles. So if I select this plane at the back here, and we go down to the particles panel over here, and we just add a new particle system, we'll just take the end frame, change it to one, increase the lifetime to let's say a thousand, scroll down till we get to physics, and we'll just change it to none. And then underneath the render tab, We'll change it from Halo to Object, and we'll select one of the buildings. As you can see, it's given us a whole bunch of tiny little buildings. The next thing we're going to do is under Emission, and underneath Source, we're going to change the distribution from Jitter to Grid. Now everything's laid out in a perfect grid. We're just going to increase the resolution of this grid. We'll scroll down, back under Render, and we'll just increase the scale. Now you can see we've got this perfect grid of buildings that are all exactly the same size. And to make things a little bit more interesting, we're just going to increase scale random. And now we've got this beautiful cityscape from one building of multiple colors. So if you found this tutorial useful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, maybe even donating to my Patreon or sending me some crypto. By the way, if you become a patron, you'll gain access to this project file so you can play around. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative.